Hello everyone, I hope that you're doing okay. This is American English File, Second Edition, Book 1, Part 7B. Let's do it. All right. Chelsea. Chelsea. What do you think about this word? Chelsea. Do you have anything in mind? What does it mean? Chelsea. Google it. Mm -hmm. So, let me give you some hints. Yeah, Chelsea Football Club, right? Do you like football? And, yes, the town of Chelsea in the UK. All right? So, Chelsea is a well-known street and one of the centers of the 1960s fashion in the UK and also a team that plays in the English Premier League. It is also the name of the Clinton's daughter as they went to London on vacation and stayed in Chelsea shortly before Hillary Clinton got pregnant. Yeah, so I want you to pick a name. For example, Galata. For example, mm, St. Petersburg, right? Or Paris St. German. A name. And see what it represents what is it about for example galata right talk to your partner it's on you well done okay reading and listening look at the title chelsea girls and we have some pictures right Althrop house stamford bridge stadium and the spencer sisters do you have any idea? Okay. You can search you can search them, you can google them very well. Now, first, read and listen to the true story about a trip. A trip. Number the sentences 1 to 7. For example, number 1, the girls wanted to go to a match. All right? Ready? All right. Now listen. 3.50 Charles Spencer, Princess Diana's brother, has three daughters, 18-year-old Kitty and 15-year-old twins Eliza and Amelia. They live in Althorpe, a large country house near Northampton, about 85 miles, 136 kilometers, north of London. One of the sisters and her friend wanted to go to a soccer match in London. It was a Premier League match between Chelsea and Arsenal at Stamford Bridge, they called a taxi to take them to London and back. The taxi arrived and the driver typed Stamford Bridge into his GPS. The girls relaxed in the back of the car. They probably chatted, listened to music on their iPods, and texted their friends. They didn't talk to the taxi driver. Two hours later, the taxi stopped. They looked out of the window. It was a street with pretty houses. The girls were a little surprised, and they asked the taxi driver where they were. In Stamford Bridge, he said. Where did you want to go? Okay, so if you need, listen again. Good. Check your answers with your partner. All right, so number one, the girls wanted to go to a match. All right, what happened next? Okay, they called a taxi. Next, the taxi arrived at the girl's house. All right. Next, the taxi driver typed their destination into his GPS. All right. Number five, they chatted and listened to music. Well done. And number six, the taxi stopped in a street with pretty houses. Pretty beautiful. And seven, they looked out of the window. All right. So far, so good. Now, everyone, I want you to listen and check. Do you think they were in London? All right. 3.51. 1. The girls wanted to go to a match. 2. They called a taxi. 3. The taxi arrived at the girl's house. 
4. The taxi driver typed their destination into his GPS. 5. They chatted and listened to music. 6. The taxi stopped in a street with pretty houses. 7. They looked out of the window. Okay, so your answers were right. So then, tell me, are they in London? What happened? Okay, so listen to the news story on the radio. Where were they? What happened? All right, let's see. 3.52 and finally on the news today, the story of two soccer fans who missed the big match. Last week, Chelsea played Arsenal at Chelsea's famous stadium, Stamford Bridge in West London. It was the match that soccer fans all over the world wanted to watch. Charles Spencer's daughter and a friend were among the lucky people with tickets. The girls were in Althorpe, which is about 85 miles from London, and they decided to go by taxi. But when the taxi stopped in a small village, it was clear that something was wrong. They were in Stamford Bridge, but not at the Chelsea Stadium. The driver had typed Stamford Bridge into his GPS, but unfortunately, Stamford Bridge is also a small village in the north of England, and that's where they were. Of course, they missed the match. Wow! Wow, interesting. All right. So, where were they? They were in a village in the north of England called Stamford Bridge. All right. So, instead of a stadium, they went to a bridge with the same name. Hmm, interesting. Now, do you think it is easy to make a mistake like this? Whose fault was it? Do you have any idea? But well, I think on the both sides, right? They didn't have enough information. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody, we're going to do a little bit of uh, exercise. First, this is a tourist information bulletin. Tourist information, Stamford Bridge. Stamford Bridge is a small village in the north of England, near York. It is about 230 miles, 370 kilometers, from London. It has a population of 3,500 people. It is famous for a battle between the English and the Vikings in the 1066. Note, don't confuse Stamford Bridge near York with Stamford Bridge in London, the stadium of Chelsea Football Club. All right, now, so you're going to talk about a touristic area in your city or country. You can make a presentation or read a presentation on the internet and tell it to your partner. For example, you can talk about Istanbul, you can talk about Bucharest, you can talk about Argentina, or you can talk about United States, good places to see, for example, the Grand Canyon. All right? Okay, this is for you. Talk about your favorite touristic place. Okay, so we read this story. Now, read the text again and highlight 10 more simple past, simple past, regular verbs that are positive, one simple past, negative sentence, and one simple past question. All right, so 10 more simple past, regular verbs that are positive, one simple past, negative sentence, and one simple past question. All right, okay, do it, well done. So the positive ones, called, arrived, typed, relaxed, chatted, listened, text, stopped, looked, asked, all right? The negative one, didn't talk, and the question, where did you want to go? Where did you want to go? All right, you did very good. In the next part, everybody, in pairs, you and your friend, Complete these simple present, simple past. Okay, they want to go to the match. They wanted to go to the match. 
they don't talk to the taxi driver. They didn't talk to the taxi driver. And where do you want to go? Where did you want to go? All right. So let me have some questions. What letters do you add to a regular normal verb to make it simple past? Huh? For example, call, of course, called. All right. You add ed. What do you do if the verb ends in e? For example, type. All right. You only add the d. What happens to a verb that ends with one vowel and one consonant? For example, chat, stop. All right. So you double the consonant. For example, chatted, stopped. All right. The p or t, the consonant. All right. Well done. Now, everybody, I want you to just listen. All right. Okay. 3.53. I played tennis this morning. We watched a good movie on TV last night. My grandfather lived in Sao Paulo when he was young. I studied Korean when I was at school. Okay, so everybody, this is the simple past with regular verbs regular means normal verbs so these are the rules all right we use simple past for finished finished actions in the past i told you past finished now and future we're talking about the past finished actions look the base form watch watched Play, played. Live, lived. Stop, stopped. Study, studied. So if it's positive, I worked yesterday. She worked yesterday. We worked yesterday. The negative, you use the auxiliary. Didn't. I didn't work yesterday. She didn't work yesterday. And for the question, look, did you work yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Easy, right? Just a simple switch. All right. Now, contractions. Didn't means did not. And regular verbs in the past that are positive end in ed. Worked, lived, played. Another point. The simple past is the same for all persons. Are you, he, she, it, etc. And we use auxiliaries, did, didn't, plus the base form for the simple past question and negative. For example, did you work yesterday? You use did to make questions. And for negative, look, I didn't work yesterday. You use didn't to make it negative. Now, let's practice this. Okay, so we have two exercises. Look, switch the present to past turn the present to the past i watch tv when now i watched tv yesterday finished action all right and the next part complete the sentences with a verb in the simple past for example we finished work late yesterday all right this is on you stop the video and do it Good. Now, check it with your partner. All right. Let's do it together. So, we study English. We studied English yesterday. Do you listen to the news? Did you listen to the news yesterday? So, you use, you use the auxiliary verb, the helping verb, did, to make it into a question. Number three. He doesn't cook dinner. He didn't cook dinner yesterday. All right. So you use the auxiliary verb didn't to make it into the past tense. All right. But negative form. Number four. Does she play sports? Did she play sports yesterday? They work late. They worked late yesterday. I use the internet at work. 
I used the, the internet at work yesterday. She talks to her friends. She talked to her friends yesterday. Number eight. My brother doesn't dance. My brother didn't dance yesterday. Good. Next exercise. Number one. I didn't call my mother on her birthday. Number two. The movie was very sad. Did you cry? Number three. My brother played video games all day yesterday. My type of plan. Number four. I didn't listen to the news this morning because I was late. Number five. It's a question. Did Sarah dance with Martin at the party? Yeah, you did very well. Excellent. Easy, right? Really easy. Easy for you, as I told you. You're smart. Okay, now time to speak it out. Now, you stand up in your class. You talk to your partners, to your friends, about the things that they did yesterday. Like this. Did you use a GPS yesterday or Google map yesterday? Yes, I did. Who? Jimmy, Tommy, Jennifer. All right. Did you watch a soccer match yesterday? Okay. Who watched a soccer match yesterday? For example, Taylor. Right. Did you chat online? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Then you write the name over here. This is on you. This is your game. Good. Okay, now, everybody, I just want you to listen and repeat. Let's go. 3.54 1 D Called Arrived Listened 2 T, -t Looked Relaxed. Stopped. Three. Id. Wanted. Chatted. Texted. Good. So, d, t, id. Want, wanted. For example, looked, t, called, d. All right. Now, everybody. Look at the verbs in the list, these verbs. Circle the ones that belong to the group three. Group three, wanted, chatted, texted, it. Do it. Okay, now listen and check. 3.55 Played Duh. Finished Duh. Started Traveled. Asked. Missed. Cooked. Needed. Watched. Lived. Liked. Typed. Good. Well done. So which ones? Of course, started, needed, good. Now, everybody, listen to some verb phrases. Make true positive or negative sentences about yesterday. For example, look, play tennis. You say, you, I played tennis yesterday. I didn't play tennis yesterday. So, listen, one positive, one negative you say let's go 3.56 one play tennis your turn two travel by train i traveled by train yesterday i didn't travel by train yesterday. three cook dinner Four. Wait for a bus. Five. 
Five. Play the guitar. Six. Study English. Seven. Watch TV. Eight. Listen to music. Well done. Good practice indeed. Now, everybody, past time expressions. Number the past time expressions one to ten. For example, five minutes ago. What's after that? All right, do it. All right, very good. Now, we say last week, last month, not the last week, not the last month, just last week, last month. Now, listen and check. 3.57 1. Five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. 2. 2. Last night. Last night. Next. Three. Yesterday morning. Four. The day before yesterday. Five. Three days ago. Six. Last week. Seven. Last month. Eight. Last summer. Nine. A year ago. Ten. In 2009. Okay. So these are the answers. Good. Well done. Now. You're going to talk to your partner. Look at the questioner here. This is the question. When was the last time you cried at the end of a movie? Traveled by plane. I don't know. Downloaded a song. So you're going to tell your partner true sentences. True sentences with past time expressions. Ask for more information. For example, I cried a lot at the end of a movie last week. Oh, really? What was it? Or for example... Jimmy, when was the last time you traveled by plane? Oh, well, actually, it was two years ago. I was traveling to Thailand, right? Speak with your partner. Practice. Good. And yes, another one in the basket. Well done, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, comment it down below. And I will see you soon again. Wish you the best. Keep fighting.